Welcome to our demo. In this video, we would like to demonstrate the performance of our real-time multi-channel speech enhancement system. The core component of the system is a deep neural network that implements a spatially selective nonlinear filter. Speech understanding in noisy environments can be very challenging. We demonstrate this in a reverberant environment and with many interfering sources. The processing is performed in real-time real multi-channel real speech enhancement system, which has been generated which has been generated a spatially selective filter using the training. training. Now the speech enhancement is turned on. In the lower left corner, you see the user interface. The red arrow marks the current look direction of the filter. A DNN-based localization algorithm provides visual guidance for selecting a speaker. On the left side, we can turn the enhancement on and off. Spatial and selectivity is automatically challenging speaker extraction for example, with a high number of interfering speakers and including also reverberation. Digital signal processing and machine learning algorithms for speech, audio, and multimodal signals. Also, steer the filter towards another speaker and the channel produces an additional average spatial information contained in the noise recordings obtained using multiple microphones. Today, the majority of new devices is equipped with multiple microphones, which emphasizes the practical relevance of spatial information processing. Strains may include the low algorithm latency in communications devices, limited computational power in mobile devices, and limited resources for training. In contrast, nonlinear spatial filters like the one we have shown here can overcome these limitations and the lead to nonlinear possibilities offered by neural network to implement a joint spatial and tempo spectral nonlinear filter. First, we would like to show that the filter can track slowly moving sources. To achieve this, we define a window centered around the filter look direction and adjust the filter based on the maximum energy in the output of the speaker localization network. Both networks, the spatial filter and the localization network, have been trained on only on static data sets. But here we can see that they can adapt to moving sources nevertheless. The tracking is necessary since the speakers move all the time, but the spatial filter is highly spatially selective. This experiment is on sources that are located close to each other. Enhancement system. In our training set, we leave at least 10 degrees of room between the target source and the interfering source. Here we demonstrate what happens if two sources are closer together. Since the filter mainly uses the spatial location to discriminate between the target speech and interfering signals, it cannot separate very close sources. Spectral However, the range filter. in which the resulting DNN-based filter has many realistic scenarios. In the cases where separation does not work because two sources are too close, the network outputs the mixture of both signals. During training, the network has only seen speech data. We are using a simulated dataset which has been generated using Pyrum acoustics. Each training example is a recording of six human speakers speaking simultaneously. The target speaker to extract is identified by its direction of arrival angle. Here we now have a music source and other additional non-stationary noise sources from the ball and the people in the back. As you can hear, our network generalizes these interfering source types that it has never seen during training. 